All right. Good morning. So let's talk about how aggressive this pattern is that Dogecoin is taking. So I was looking at some information, trying to get an idea of some more concrete numbers for a consolidation point. And I was looking at our current trend. We are this red candle here. I will talk about that in a moment, but because uh, it may very well still close green because it's still it's, it's in a great position to actually close green. But um, if we get this candle to close green, this will be nine consecutive days that Dogecoin has increased its value. And I took some time. I'm going through the charts. And I'm saying, OK, since we uh, the, we had this explosion in Dogecoin in like 2021, has there been a period where there were nine consecutive days of growth? And there was not, not even Dogecoin at its peak, not even running to the heavens. We're talking about peak Elon tweets, um, just gap ups everywhere. There was not a period of time where Doge had nine consecutive green days. What does that mean? That means that the pattern that you're seeing right now, the explosion and the growth, and we are um, I say probably within the next 10 minutes, we're going to cross $8 billion in transactions in 24 hours. That trend that you're seeing is the most powerful trend that Dogecoin has seen to date, right? So we are on, this is something similar to 2021, but this is completely different. Um, the, the, the power and the momentum here is something that we haven't seen before. So I don't think even 2021 is going to compare to what we're going to witness uh, this bull run. I think it's going to be immensely uh, different <laughs> for uh, lack of a better word. So what does this mean for where uh, there's, it, we're going to grab liquidity? Because we do need a, a point to um, pretty much build out a floor so that we can start building liquidity and building some support at these higher levels. This is fun. Um, but it's not completely healthy to have these complete uh, gaps up. So at some point in time, it's going to have to build out a floor or a start searching for liquidity here. But even with if we want to take a look and compare this to Bitcoin, because um, I think this is kind of responsible for this huge sell up here. Bitcoin hit an all time high and now people are afraid. There's a little fear in the market. People are taking profits and selling and stuff like that. So I, th I think some of that's carrying over to some of the other assets. So, you know, which is not surprising, but we're looking for peers like this, right? Where Doge, I mean, excuse me, Bitcoin had this sideways movement like right here. This is healthy, right? You go up sideways, up sideways. What you literally built, just think about it as like a stair. Like, you know, you want to go up sideways. Just think of this as step one, up sideways step two up sideways step three that is how you effectively build um levels in here so that way if this the was to gap down we're not looking at a liquidity grab from the last step which is fifty one thousand. that would be a monstrous um drop but we'll say oh well there should be some people that are willing to buy here 62 because that is their current DCA and it's likely that they will purchase again. That's what, um, you know, that's kind of where you can get the market to kind of agree and you can kind of pump the brakes and not have like that free fall to hell. So what we're looking at here, and if you watched my video earlier today, I mentioned in the, um, the chat that I was saying that, um, if we go higher, cause we peaked, I think at around 21 cent uh, briefly, um, we can possibly, you know, I was thinking, you know, 18 to 20 cent uh, consolidation if we went that high, because at the time of that video was uh, recorded, we hadn't uh, hit those numbers yet. So it's looking like um, some of those uh, projections are still holding up, which is around the 18 mark, which is where we are right now, a little over 18 cent, which is um, which is fine. We just need to establish where we're going to grab liquidity from. And when I say liquidity grab, it does not have to mean um red candles a red candle is not indicative of a liquidity grab you can have very small green candles here like there's some two or three uh green candles here that's still technically building out a floor what it means is just it's a lower volatility so you're not having these giant candles like here but even right now with this red candle remember yesterday 
if you remember yesterday morning, if you go look at those earlier videos, this candle here was beneath this previous candle and it was red. And look what happened. So it is not, this here means absolutely nothing right now. This candle can close up here and we can end up closing out at around 20 cents. So another thing I want to point out, if we um, break out of this zone here around the 18 and we start closing at around 18 to 20, that puts us in uh, gap up territory. And that is how you kind of get that, that strong run to around 25 cents. And 25 cent typically that's going to be our battle zone so we'll see um, how that kind of uh, works out because after 25 cent that's when you get some real gaps that's when um you know for the people that did purchase um, below 12 cent and stuff like that they're going to be way in profit because that's where things get really interesting and starts things start moving really fast so oh look right here Remember the short squeeze I was telling you about? Remember I was saying shorts are going to come out because they couldn't uh, because they couldn't get the price down. They were negative one hundred percent. Look right here, boom! This is what I mean by shorts get wrecked. <laughs> but so they got their butt handed to them uh, for sure. So uh, we'll see. <laughs> we still got some stubborn ones in there, but shorts dropped from the two hundred to below the fourteen, probably to around the 10 day average. So that is what you would call uh, in the short world uh, getting raped. <laughs> so they took a huge L here. Um, so this is what we were talking about earlier. It's not surprising here. I, was, I knew it wasn't sustainable going forward. You can't be negative 100, 200% in shorts. It, it, it's just going to kill your portfolio. So um don't be surprised here if they if they we do get smaller volume today don't be surprised if you see them try and creep back in but as of right now i think they will probably sit out for a while and see where the momentum is kind of going to die down or, or see if there's an opportunity to kind of strike before they take new positions because that's a nasty beating there um so you don't never want to be in that situation so for those of you who are thinking about playing shorts be careful because you can, um, you know, lose more than what you put in. And so it's one of the, um, I, I guess, I'm going to say caveats, but it's definitely a negative, uh, no pun intended for shorts. It's definitely a negative that that kind of happens. So even right now, you'll see that this candle is very narrow. The wick is very long. This is the battleground right now, somewhere between 18 and 21. Um, we will monitor this throughout the day that we can still very well close green but um at some point we'll see uh, when the momentum uh, slows down that whether or not we're going to actually build out a floor here because we may not we may go up to around 21 cent and we may build a floor uh in the 20 cent range right so right now where the liquidity grab is going to come from is still up in the air we're, we're watching to see where these candles are going to close but right now it's not definite but we know at some point um, that search is going to be on. But as I said, if we close, I'd say around 20 cent, we are more than likely we have some definitely have some more upside here. Just looking at history for this run in particular prior to the liquidity graph. So I'm um, just going to keep that in mind and I will see you guys in the next update. If you found value in this video, though, make sure you subscribe to the channel, uh, like this video, share it with a friend. I appreciate all of you, and I will see you guys in the next one.